Hi guys, it's Kate coming to you from my living room and I am going to show you my massive May TBR and this TBR is one I'm the most excited I think I've been about since I've had a um, booktube channel. So I will just jump into the books because there's a lot of them. The first, I will be continuing to read Rosamund Pilcher's Coming Home, but one thing that is deterring me from making lots of progress in this, that I'm only 273 pages out of 900, is the fact that this hardback is so annoying and heavy, and I hate reading in it. So my husband and I went to Barnes & Noble the other night, and I got a chunky mass market paperback. Now I know these don't get a lot of love on booktube, but I personally really love them. They're fluffy. They're chunky. They're so easy to read in bed, and I really like that. So I really am enjoying this. This is basically what I would call chiclet, and I'm following the story of, I just forgot her name, Judith, Judith Dunbar, and it's in the 30s right upon the crux of World War II. So it's a really interesting setting for it to be in, and I am really looking forward to jumping more into this. Hers take a couple hundred pages to get into, but now that I've kind of gotten that first over 200 pages out of the way, I really am thoroughly enjoying this. So then the next one that I will be taking a, hopefully three months to read, and Hillary has decided to join me on this journey. Hillary from Your Robot Friend, and we will be reading A Suitable Boy by Vik Vikram Seth. This edition is 1,500 pages long, and I am so excited to read this. This is a sweeping saga in every sense of the word of four Indian families, and there is love and loss. It's uh, during India's newly attained independence, so there's going to be kind of some rocky rockiness there with the you know new stability in the country so I'm just really looking forward to this and I know I'm really going to get to know some new characters uh, really well in this and I'm looking forward to reading it with Hillary because we haven't done a buddy read since January so I'm looking forward to that. Then when I'm just reading on my own and at a very slow pace is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I have heard only good things about this book so I'm really looking forward to trying it out and I will let you guys know what I think. This is also a big sweeping saga of uh, family and kind of just the turmoil that happens in their family and like I said I've only heard good things so I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Next, at another one that I'll be starting but not finishing this month and not finishing until next year in 2017, and this is Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens. Katie over at Books and Things is hosting a read-along where we will read this in the pacing that people in the time that it was published would have read when it was published in serials, uh, monthly, you know, and weekly episodes. So, we're going to read four chapters this month, how it was published in that time, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. And two of the characters, Bella Wilfer and Lizzie Hexham, that I know from the BBC miniseries, I really like. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know them well and seeing um, some good Dickens female characters because his characters, female characters aren't always very well-rounded. So that will be neat to see. Uh, then I will be doing a buddy read with Sarai from Sarai Talks Books, and I'm really looking forward to it. We selected a mystery for our first buddy read, and this is A Certain Justice by P.D. James. And it is about a lawyer who defends a man who pretty much everyone knows is guilty, and she wins the case and then is found murdered in her office later on. So I think there's going to be a lot of political intrigue, things like that, and I'm just really looking forward to reading another P.D. James. This is from her Adam Dalgleish series, and I'm not really worried about reading these in order. I, yeah, I just, I'm going to hop around with these, and my dad really highly recommends this one right after Death and Holy Orders, which is going to probably be one of my favorite books from the year. So, looking forward to reading with Sarai. Next, I will be doing a um, Mystery May with Kate from the novel Nomad. So, we just decided we wanted to read even more mysteries this month, and we're going to read four mysteries together as Buddy Reads, and then we each picked out a fifth mystery, so one that we recommended for the other one to read. So the one that she recommended to me is Cocaine Blues by Carrie Greenwood. This is the first in the Franny Fisher mysteries, and she is, Franny Fisher is a socialite in the flapper era in Australia, and Carrie Greenwood is an Australian author. I've seen the TV adaptation of this. I'm really looking forward to getting to this, and she picked a nice, light, short one for me to read. 
Then another one that we're going to be reading for our Mystery May is a Ruth Rendell, who I always talk to her about as well. And so we're going to be doing a standalone because she hasn't read any, any of the Wexford and I'm so far into that series. But ironically, A Sight for Sore Eyes is the one that we're reading, and this is actually a prequel for a Wexford, the 23rd Wexford, which is called The Vault. So I wanted to read this one before I read The Vault, and I'm really looking forward to this. Going into it blind, I really have no idea what it's about. And she hasn't really let me down yet. And then the next one we will be reading for our Mystery May is Payment in Blood by Elizabeth George. This is the second in the Inspector Lindley series that I absolutely adored the first one of so much called A Great Deliverance. And this is about a group of actors who are all staying in a mansion together, rehearsing for a play, and then the writer and director of the play is found murdered in her bed. So Lindley comes to investigate the case, and of course Havers is going to be there, and I'm just so looking forward to getting to know these characters better. And then we will also be reading The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Lori R. King. This is the first in the Mary Russell series, and Mary Russell ends up kind of being a protege of Sherlock Holmes when he's more at retirement age. And so I'm really looking forward to starting this series. I've heard it highly recommended by Winx from Winx and Ink, and I just would love to have another go-to detective series. And then we will also be reading the third in the Amelia Peabody series called The Mummy Case. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. And so I don't really know what this one is about, but I know it's Amelia Peabody and I want to read the entire series. So I'm really looking forward to reading that with Kate. We had so much fun reading the first one together. Then I will be continuing in my slow, slow, slow read of Lark Rise to Candleford. Uh, Carolyn is a little bit farther behind me, so I think we'll end up discussing it whenever she's done, but I think I'm just going to keep reading. And um, she was, uh, she's been kind of under the weather, and it's just slow going for her with this one. But uh, whenever I do pick it up, I'm still reading it slowly. I am really enjoying it, and it's really educational. Like the first volume, which is called Lark Rise, just feels like a textbook, and it's, I just am so fascinated by the Victorian era, so I'm very all right with that. So I definitely want to continue with this to slowly but surely finish it. Next is The Poison Throne by Celine Kiernan. I started this during Genrethon and would love to finish it. It is high fantasy where there are ghosts and talking cats, so what's not to love about that? And I really want to finish this. Next, I will be picking up the fourth in the Wheel of Time series. This was the other book I picked up the other night at uh, Barnes & Noble, and I got the Little Mass Market paperback because, like I said, you can read them in bed so easily. And I'm really looking forward to diving back to this world. I'm really enjoying my routine of reading one one month and then taking a month off because now, by the time that a whole month has gone by that I haven't uh, read A Wheel of Time, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. So I can't wait to tell you guys all about what I think about this. Oh, my pile is falling. Then, is that everything? Let me double check my list. I don't want to forget to tell you guys about anything. That is everything. Okay, so that is my whopping May TBR. And please let me know what you guys will be planning on reading in the month of May. And I will see you guys for another video very soon. Bye, guys.